And yes, the Prime Minister and I discussed the upcoming referendum here on whether or not the UK should remain part of the European Union. Let me be clear. Ultimately, this is something that the British voters have to decide for themselves. But as part of our special relationship, part of being friends is to be honest and to let you know what I think. And speaking honestly, the outcome of that decision is a matter of deep interest to the United States because it affects our prospects as well. The United States wants a strong United Kingdom as a partner. And the United Kingdom is at its best when it's helping to lead a strong Europe. It leverages UK power to be part of the European Union. As I wrote in the op-ed here today, I don't believe the EU moderates British influence in the world. It magnifies it. The EU has helped to spread British values and practices across the continent. The single market brings extraordinary economic benefits to the United Kingdom. And that ends up being good for America, because we're more prosperous when one of our best friends and closest allies has a strong, stable, growing economy. Americans want Britain's influence to grow, including within Europe. The fact is, in today's world, no nation is immune to the challenges that David and I just discussed. And in today's world, solving them requires collective action. All of us cherish our sovereignty. My country is pretty vocal about that. But the U.S. also recognizes that we strengthen our security through our membership in NATO. We strengthen our prosperity through organizations like the G7 and the G20. And I believe the U.K. strengthens both our collective security and prosperity through the EU. In the 21st century, the nations that make their presence felt on the world stage aren't the nations that go it alone, but the nations that team up to aggregate their power and multiply their influence. And precisely because Britain's values and institutions are so strong and so, so sound, we want to make sure that that influence is heard, that it's felt, that it influences how other countries think about critical issues. We have confidence that when the UK is involved in a problem, that they're going to help solve it in the right way. That's why the United States cares about this. You know, for centuries, Europe was marked by war and by violence. The architecture that our two countries helped build with the EU has provided the foundation for decades of relative peace and prosperity on that continent. What a remarkable legacy. A legacy born in part out of what took place in this building. Before we walked out, I happened to see Enigma on display. And, and that was a reminder of the incredible innovation and collaboration of the Allies in World War II and the fact that neither of us could have won that alone. And in the same way, after World War II, we built out the international institutions that, yes, occasionally constrained us. But we willingly allowed those constraints because we understood that by doing so, we were able to institutionalize and internationalize the basic values of rule of law and freedom and democracy that would benefit our citizens as well as people around the world. Yeah, I, I think there's a, a British poet who once said, no man's an island. Even an island as beautiful as this. Uh, we're stronger together. And if we continue to tackle our challenges together, then future generations will look back on ours just as we look back on the previous generation of English and American citizens 
uh, who worked so hard to make this world safer and more secure and more prosperous, and they'll say that we did our part. And that's important. That's important not just here. That's important in the United States as well. Thanks.